KC1AXJ here going to explain how to get a Kenwood TS2000 and RMS Express to work together so you can send email over your VHF rig. Kenwood does a, not a very good job of documenting how the TNC in this radio works and how it's to be set up but this should help with getting that going for you. First I'd like to give credit to a couple of folks that put together some very nice videos on YouTube. Travis County ARES and uh, you can find them on YouTube and they will show you how to set up RMS Express which this video really won't show you how to do. It's really about getting it to work with TS2000 Kenwood. First you have to have RMS Express installed on your PC. Next to uh, create your email uh, by typing or clicking on new message create the email. You can address it to yourself or anybody but um, not really showing you how to make an email with RMS Express, but um, here's an example of one. Um, when you're done met writing your email, make sure you click on Post to Outbox. Once it's posted to the Outbox, you'll see your increment um, counter on your Outbox increase by one for the email that you just made. Once you've created that, then you're going to want to set up RMS Express um, com ports correctly. Do this by going to Help and type or click on simple terminal. Click on the simple terminal and set it for the COM ports that you're using on your PC. In this case COM5576 is my baud rate. Um, and then uh, after you're done with that and save it, then click on packet uh, WL2K and once that's selected you can click on open session. Once open session opens up, um, window will show up at the bottom um, and this is your packet to 2000 session window. Click on setup and once you click on the setup another dialog box will pop up shows you the setups for the Kenwood 2000. Of course select Kenwood 2000 and set these up. Uh, notice the maximum frame rate is 2. I'll slow down for a couple of seconds and sort of show you and explain some things that are on this uh, screen captures that won't be on yours. In the large white text box starting with the starting WL2K packet session, that will not probably be when you, you that will probably not appear when you start your session. Um, it's showing up for me because I've already got stuff pre-populated. And the other thing that won't show up in yours is the W1SP-7. Um, that's the connection to a point that I want to make with my rig um, and I will explain how you get that to pre-populate for you in a minute. Once you click on the channel selection button you'll be presented with a, a selection of two ways to populate this table. One is via the internet and one is via the radio. You're best off doing it updating via the internet and again go back to those two uh, videos on YouTube for reference on how to access the internet with uh, RMS Express but um, I found that uh, using the internet is the best way to get the uh, to get the table pre-populated and then you'll just double click on one of those um, call signs and um, when you click start um, it will connect to in this case W1SP-7 You'll have to make sure that you have the right frequency uh, set up on your Kenwood TS2000. Setting the rig up is pretty straightforward. Just click the menu button and go to item number 46. Item number 46 sets either the main or the subband uh, transceiver um, for your TNC. In this case I want to use the main at 1200 bits per second. Uh, then I'm going to click on the TNC band and say DCD sense and then uh, go up to item number 55 and turn it on that basically turns the TNC on. And that's it for setting up your transceiver. The rest is a piece of cake. I've also found that uh, turning on the preamplifier and you'll also want to check your power output levels. Um, I drive a little bit hot at 30 watts. I'm pretty close to the uh, station I'm contacting, but even 30 watts, I'll need that. Next, I've turned the squelch all the way off on the Kenwood, and I'm going to hit the Start button. 
on the Windling 2000. And you can hear the squelch is off, and uh, nothing's being transmitted, even though I have an email in my outbox. The reason being is that the Kenwood receiver, if there's any traffic coming in on the receiver, will not transmit anything. So basically you have to make sure that your squelch is on, otherwise you won't transmit anything. So let me turn the squelch off, and it immediately starts sending. The reason being is because the FIFO on the radio already had data in it, but I just couldn't send it. So let me hit send again, and now they're negotiating for real this time because, there's no because the squelch is on. So this will take a few minutes to negotiate between the two radios, and after about three or four minutes, my email would have been sent. I hope you found this video useful, uh, 73.